guys, today we have a full body with dumbbell workout. So it's all gonna be using dumbbells. So you could do it in the gym, at home, outside, wherever you feel. Um, so stay tuned and see our full body workout that we have for you. First up, we got biceps. So put those uh, weights in those hands. You're gonna let them release and go all the way straight every time you come up. So you're up, those elbows are at, those sides, they're locked in, fully release, all the way up. You can have a slight bend in your knees if you need to. All the way down and up, squeeze at that top. 10 to 12 reps. Don't forget to breathe. All right, from here, directly into tricep pushbacks. So you're gonna hinge at your hips, your chest is gonna be towards the ground, you're gonna lock in those elbows, out and down. You need to look forward. Try to hold for a split second at that top, really fire up that muscle. Engaging that tricep. Try to go for 10 to 12 on that. Go through both of those for three sets. Okay, up next we have a compound movement. So we're gonna do a leg with a single arm shoulder press. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So make sure those knees do not go over those toes and you're not off balance. So really if you need to take the movement a little bit slower to get the hang of it, it's totally fine. Those feet are either shoulder width apart or a little bit wider. You're gonna take that dumbbell you're gonna go straight through those legs. You're gonna come up to here and press. Keeping those shoulders back, chest up, so when you're squatting, it's all in your legs. Do 10 and then switch. heels, get all that legs really firing it up. Whew. All right, next we have another compound movement for you of legs and shoulders. It is going to be a wood chop and you're going to be coming over your body so you're going to be going through your midline. So you're gonna do a reverse lunge, pop that back. That uh, dumbbell is gonna be on that side of the leg that's open. When you come up, you're swinging it across that midline. So you're down and up. Holding the dumbbell on the outsides. Getting both 90 degrees in both of those legs. 10 on one side and then switch. pump and a glute pump at the same time. You're welcome. <laughs> Up next we have a row. We're going to do singles and doubles. So you're going to hinge at your hips so that you are parallel to the floor. You're going to have those dumbbells. You're going to go all the way up into that armpit and all the way down. Five on one side. Slowing control, not just dropping. You're letting it lower all the way down with the, all the muscles, keeping them engaged. And then after five, then you're gonna do 10 together. Oh. 
what happens. You'll feel it, I promise. All right, up next we have single RDL. So we're gonna be working on our right leg. So the dumbbell is gonna be in your left hand. You're gonna be going from left hand to right leg. I don't have a lot of balance, so I like tend to um, put my hand on something. So what it's gonna look like is you're gonna lower all the way down as, as low as you can go, come back up. You're automatically gonna feel it in that hamstring. So you're gonna lower and lift, not meant to be fast really lengthening that whole entire hamstring muscle as you go all the way down and back up. Try to go for 12 to 15 on one side. And then we'll switch. And we'll go to that other side. Making sure to breathe. Try to get 12 to 15 reps on each side or 10 to 12 if you haven't done it before. Like I said, you're really gonna feel it in that hamstring, so take it slow and controlled. Up next we have um, RDL, so it's not single, it's double, and then we're gonna throw in a little bicep work in there for you for another compound movement. So, feet are hip width apart, you're gonna have a slight bend. You are going to lower like an elevator all the way down, your knees do not move, it's all your upper body. You're gonna come up and you're gonna hit that bicep curl. So you're gonna hinge forward, come all the way up and curl. Try to get 12 to 15 reps and always remember, it's nothing in your leg. So it's all upper body from here and curl. Just to give you a different view from the side, you'll see my knees are not bending. So you're gonna sit here. Okay. All in that upper body. Twelve to fifteen reps, three times through. All right, another compound movement for you. We're gonna add a little bit of chest because it always helps that front part of that shoulder. And we're gonna keep our glutes tight while we're at it because who doesn't want some tight glutes? You're going to lay down. Your feet are gonna be up to those glutes. You're going to kick up your glutes and squeeze the whole entire time. Do not let them drop. Those arms go up, come down to a 90 degree, and press. Keeping those glutes tight, that belly button sucked into that spine, so it's kind of like a little full workout right here. Try to get 15 reps for three sets. You can also stick a band around your knees if you want added resistance. Make sure to never stop squeezing as you're doing your chest. Then go ahead and drop one. And because it's full body with dumbbell, we gotta get a little bit of uh, some abs in there. So keep those feet right where they are. Take that dumbbell, hold it on both sides, and pulse all the way to the top for 20. After you've done that, kick out those legs and you're gonna go right to left, holding that dumbbell in the air. Feet are flexed. This is one after the other for just a little bit of a burnout. After that, keep both of those legs up, still keeping them flexed. 
Try to touch that dumbbell to those shoes. You want your shoulders coming all the way off. Really working that lower part of those abs. Then from here, you're gonna kick it up. You're either gonna hold it this way or keep holding that outside. Kick up those feet and you're gonna go right to left. Right here, just get a little bit of oblique work. If you need it harder, straighten those legs. If you need it softer, go ahead and just lightly touch them on the ground. Whatever option is easiest for you. all right guys thanks for hanging out with me for that full body dumbbell workout always make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any questions always make sure to dm me and i will answer them for you until next week later